Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 30, least common multiple and reciprocals. Now the least common multiple, remember a multiple is when we multiply a number by 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. The term least means the smallest. Now we're looking for the smallest number that goes into both 3 and 4 because multiples go on and on and on forever. You can always keep multiplying. So we're looking for the smallest number that both 3 and 4 go into. So let's take a look. Let's just write down some of the multiples of 3. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. And then multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, etc. It keeps going. All right. So let's go ahead and circle the common multiples. So our common multiples are 12 and 24. Now if I kept going, I would keep finding more multiples. So I'm looking for the least or smallest multiple, which is the number 12. So 12 is my least common multiple. Okay. What is the LCM or least common multiple of 2 and 4? Again, we're going to count by each of these numbers. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Okay? Now if you notice, pretty much every other number is a multiple of both 2 and 4. But again, I'm looking for the least common multiple. So the smallest number that goes into both is the number 4. Alright, the second half of this lesson is on reciprocals. Now, a reciprocal, reciprocals are two numbers whose product is 1. For example, 2 and 1 half, when I multiply them together, equal 1. So those are reciprocals. And I'll show you how that works. We have 2 over 1 times 1 half. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And then 2 over 2 is equal to 1 whole. So reciprocals always equal 1. Okay. So this question is asking how many 2 thirds are in 1. Whenever it's asking for how many are in 1, this is your big hint that it's looking for a reciprocal. This is basically asking how many are there are equal to 1. So it's saying 2 thirds times something equals one whole. Well, the, the way we find the reciprocal is we take the fraction that we're given and we flip the two numbers. Okay. So two thirds becomes three halves. So the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. Okay. This one asks what number goes in the box to make the equation true. Since it's a fraction times something equals 1, that means that whatever's in my box has to be the reciprocal. So we have 5 sixths times something equals 1. And remember, to find the reciprocal, we just have to switch the two numbers. So my answer is going to be 6 fifths. We just flip those around. Okay, what is the reciprocal of 5? Well, remember that a whole number can be written as a fraction by putting it over the number 1. So to find the reciprocal, we just flip these two numbers. So the reciprocal of 5 is 1 fifth. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.